Welcome back everybody to Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. Today we're doing pork steaks. These are about two inches thick. Uh, generally you won't find them that thick. I had these special cut uh, from my butcher. And a pork steak is really just a pork butt that you've cut into steaks. These have the bone in them. Uh, you can get them bone removed, but I'm keeping them bone in because I think the bone adds flavor to them. We're gonna take these today to just about 195 degrees. We want them to be slicing, uh, slicing point as opposed to the pulling point for a pork butt, which is 203 to 204. So we're gonna put these on uh, here in just a minute. We're gonna run them between 250 and 275. We're cooking over uh, pecan today. And these were dry brined uh, this morning for about three, three and a half hours uh, just with, with salt on them and then um, after that I've come in and put my normal uh, pork butt mix on them and we're just going to put them on and let them go. We'll come back and check a few times during the smoke to take a look at them but basically uh, that's what we're doing. These are uh, just sliced pork butt and I've cut them into two inch had them cut into two inch uh, steaks and we're just gonna smoke them as pork steaks. So let's get these on the, on the smoker. Today I'm running everything here on my Lang reverse flow smoker. So this is my this is a reverse flow so it's a stick burner and just to remind everybody uh, reverse flow smokers basically we have the heat at this end there's a plate underneath which is the reverse flow plate so the smoke comes up from the smoke chamber uh, the fire firebox comes underneath back over the top and then out the chimney uh, there is a, a pan or a, 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 I guess you'd call it almost a, a griddle piece underneath here that things will drip down onto and you'll hear them uh, flash and caramelize and, and, and uh, which adds to the flavor. They're amazing. So anyway, that's the beginning. Uh, we're going to bring you back a couple times during the smoke just to let you take a look at them. As I said, these are going to go probably four hours at, uh, at the size of them. They've come up to just about room temperature, but it's still going to take four hours at 250 to get those up to 195. Uh, it's going to take a while. So we'll bring you back a couple times just to take a look. Anyway, thank you very much for coming to Jim's Bar and Pig Shack, and I will talk to you guys in just a few minutes. Welcome back to Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. I just wanted to bring you back really quickly. Here we are just about an hour and 20 minutes in. As you can see, we're still cooking away. We're not quite a little ways to go yet. We're only about 110 degrees in, the, in each one of them. But uh, we've got a ways to go to get up to 195. So just wanted to give you a quick look. I will bring you back soon. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. We are at just about two and a half hours. I just temped everything, and we are just about 150 degrees in each one of them. I've moved them around and flipped them over, but uh, here we are. As you can hear, the uh, fat dripping down onto that uh, reverse sear plate. It's down underneath the uh, underneath the meat, about two inches down. But you can hear it, and you can hear the uh, uh, the oil uh, as it sizzles on there and splashes back up and creates another layer of flavor, uh, just like the frying pan. Anyway, uh, these are coming along nicely, and I will bring you back. Oh, probably in just about another hour, hour and a half. We are gonna sauce these, uh, something I normally wouldn't do with a, with a pork butt, but for the pork steaks, I think we're gonna go ahead and sauce them. 
uh, but I'll bring you back to look at them before and then after we've sauced them and let that sauce set for a bit. All right, I will see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching Jim's Barn Pig Shack. All right, welcome back to Jim's Barn Pig Shack. I just wanted to bring everybody back so we got a chance to take a look at these uh, pork steaks. They've been on now for just about four hours. They're at about 190 degrees and I'm going to be pulling them off. As you can see, I have uh, put a little bit of sauce on them uh, just to set. So I'm going to let this set and I will bring you back in a few minutes when I pull them off. But right now we just want to get these to set, uh, the sauce to set on them and we'll take them off and give one a try. All right. I'll see you back here real soon. Again, thank you for stopping by at Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. Uh, these are these uh, pork steaks look amazing, and I can't wait to try one. All right, welcome back to Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. As you can see, the uh, pork steaks have had a chance to come off the smoker, and they've rested now for about oh twenty minutes. Uh, and they're ready to uh, ready to give one a taste. Let's take a look at it. Let's see how it looks here. Let's let's go into this one. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. Oh, it's super tender. Absolutely, it's just looks absolutely wonderful. Well, let's give it a taste. That's the best way to try. So. Let me not maybe take all of that since it's just a bit munch. Mmm. Oh. Oh my, absolutely. That is just wonderful. The uh, taste tastes like a wonderful pork steak and it's just an amazing thing and i hope everybody gets a chance to try it again uh, this is a super simple thing uh, the pork steak is really <coughs> excuse me the pork steak is really just uh, cut out of the uh, pork butt and it's just sliced these are extra thick these are two inches took about four four and a half hours actually to get to this point but they are amazing. Mm. Oh, that's just amazing. It's kind of like a wonderful pulled pork with um, a little bit more chew, <coughs> a little bit more chew to it, but just really wonderful. Anyway, I hope you all get a chance to try this. It's a great recipe, and I'll see you back here next time at Jim's Bar and Pig Shack. Thank you for watching.